Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. And in this short series I'm putting together, I started off on Phobos. I just picked up the mission. I picked up the save file from the mission where I went from Earth to Mars, but instead of landing on Mars, we landed on Phobos. And all I'm doing is just a moon to moon transfer. I'm transferring from Phobos to Deimos. And one of the main reasons I'm doing that is because I hacked together a little base that I put on Deimos. And I just want to go over there and see how much that helps with uh, landing uh, because on these small bodies you know you have that wheels down wheels up insanity that really drives me nuts so I tried to pick a good location on Deimos that would have a relatively flat area and yeah so that's the plan let's go ahead and switch camera views and jump back into it let me unpause so last video we ended after completing our uh, TMD burn <laughs> Tran, uh, TDI burn, trans demos injection burn. And now we're just going to warp time forward slowly. Well, not super slowly, but we're going to warp time forward till we're maybe halfway over. Maybe somewhere. I'll just put my mouse right there. And when we get to that point, we're going to plan on doing some kind of mid-course. So here we go. Warping time forward. And it doesn't take very long, so you don't want to do 10,000, 100,000. You'll completely wreck the flight. If you, uh, if you go too fast on the time warps here. So that's the point I picked. So we'll come out of time warp right here. And you can see that according to Transax, our closest approach is only 30 kilometers out. So my plan is to just, at this point, just bump the translation thrusters to, uh, to try to bring that number down. And for a target like Deimos, we eventually want to have that basically zero because we just want to base it we, we're treating it like a space station we want to fly straight through the living room of the thing so linear translation is already selected so i'm just gonna see what works so that's going the wrong way so i don't want that one so a little bit of reverse translation uh according to my current orientation that is helping to a point let's try some up down so that's the wrong way so let's go that way that's helping a lot and now let's try in out and that's helping so you can see without going through all the effort of setting up a maneuver we can with less than one dv i imagine figure all this out and and again we do eventually want that to be really low i'm not worried about it at the moment if i get it you know down to basically zero but you know, we'll get it, we'll kind of see how low we can get things for now. You know, they're 800 meters. We'll go with that just for the sake of time. And so we have Deimos somehow already up on the HUD. I'm not sure how that even happened. But let's uh, warp time forward. And I guess since we have this up here, let's go until we're at, let's say, 4M. So just warping time forward. Again, we don't want to do 10 or 100,000 because the distances here are not very big. And we would just easily overshoot. So we're just going to go to where at 4M. And we're coming up on that now. And we're close. You know, it doesn't have to be exact, but good enough. And we're just taking a look here. My closest approach has drifted a little bit. So another little mid-course correction. Just uh, guessing here, that's not working, so I'm gonna go the other way. And that's helping a lot, that might be all I need. And maybe a bit of uh, up-down translation. And maybe some forward-backward. And again, now I'm under a kilometer, basically. So, all right. So, I think my rendezvous point was over towards here so let's uh, warp time forward again until we're at 2m and then we'll see about another correction and coming up on it and we'll go with that so we've only drifted a little bit so this should be a really quick fix just putting ourselves back approximately where we want to be really close the closer we get the more the more we'll really dial it down and let's go with that and now we'll go to 1m and repeat the process so warping time forward a thousand 
and remember, since we're cutting this in half each time, the time it takes to go from one to the other is, is much faster. So I'm going to need 100 time warp now. Now we're down to less than 1,000 kilometers out. So, and our uh, closest approach is holding in really well. So, just tiny amounts of correction now. And that's basically got us uh, what we want. All right, so something I can start thinking about, again, I put that base on Deimos. Um, it's not a proper base, it's just something I threw together ad hoc. Uh, keep clicking all the wrong stuff, but I do want to press Control I because I don't remember, you know, what the uh, transponder stuff was. But luckily, you don't have to remember any of that. And I'm I just called it Demo Space. So okay, I put it at the bottom, and we have two pads. And I made pad number one. I think I scaled it so that it's twice as large as as the normal pad because the XR5 is a lot larger. Than the Delta Glider and XR2, and it looks a little ridiculous <clears throat> setting this huge ship down on such a small landing pad. So I scaled landing pad one to be extra large. But as always, we'll set the long range to the first transponder, so that'll come online here in the not too distant future. So that's going to be 11630. And then landing pad one, I'm going to set for uh, nav 2 and again that that's the larger landing pad it should be big enough to hold the XR5 without looking really silly all right so we can bring up VOR VTOL on that side and this will come on when we're down to 500 so that'll be a good time to do another mid course let's go ahead and warp time forward and we'll stick with the 100 for now And we're almost there. And we'll actually wait for that to come online. So if it takes, there it is. I was going to say, so if it takes a bit longer, because, you know, depending on where the base is located, uh, depending on, oh, well, there's Deimos right there. But if the base happens to be, like, on the back side or something, then we might not get that signal right at 500. But our closest approach is holding in really well. Rotation. Translation. But... We'll go ahead and keep that, you know, dialed down nice and low. You know, like that. It's quite fine. And now we can start considering our speeds. So we're basically 400 meters a second. And it looks like that will be our encounter velocity according to Transax, really close to it. So let's bring up burn time. And we're going to set a... I always do a manual... Well, for some reason it still has transex up there, but I guess I can just put in a DV of uh, 400 because that's essentially what we're looking at. And using the full power of the main engines, I need about four and a half kilometers to break. But uh, that would be if I wanted to go all the way down, and I don't want to go all the way down, so I'll probably start my braking burn around 10 kilometers. So with that in mind, let's bring up Orbit, and let's reference Phobos, uh, Deimos rather, so no target, um, reference Deimos, and I'm going to click HUD, because I don't remember ever actually doing that. So now I have this information up on the HUD, for sure, and we Rotation. want to be in the retrograde position so that we can use the full power of the main engines. A little bit of time warp to speed up that rotation. A little bit more time warp. And here comes the retrograde velocity vector. So I'm just going to put the nose of the vessel right on there so we get maximum fuel burn, uh, fuel efficiency on the burn. So according to Transex, we're still just three meters from center. And our altitude's 420, 426 according to that. I'm going to bring up surface just so I have multiple sources here. So these all tend to agree. I'm going to bring up burn time so we're ready to do that burn. I'm 
me just double check everything. So I put in 400 meters a second. That basically agrees with what I have up here. So let's warp time forward until we're 200 kilometers out. And we can go a little faster. And a little faster. And there we are, about 200 kilometers out. Let's take a look outside just to see. I can't see anything hardly. But there is Deimos, that's our target. So just checking our information again to make sure that everything is good. We're 188 kilometers out. We have a speed relative to Deimos of about 400 meters a second. That's what we put into burn time. That still agrees. We're still driving through the middle of Deimos. Translation. If we want, we can do maybe just a minor bit of correcting here we want to be really fanatical about it but uh, it doesn't matter let's warp time forward till we're at let's say a hundred or thereabout and okay so we're about a hundred so let's take a look at everything again 400 meters out uh, 400 meters per second rather 95 kilometers out we need uh, four and a half kilometers to do our burn but we're gonna start it at 10 so that we can stop high up above the surface and have a chance to go around. Let's take a look outside. And we're closing in. All right, let's just go ahead now and warp time forward until we're at our target. Time to do our burn. Right around 10 kilometers. That's going to be my goal because I feel like that'll give us plenty of altitude above Deimos. Got a few seconds here. Let's take one more quick look out there. All right. And now we're really close. So getting ready to do the burn. In just a couple more seconds, everything still agrees. And here we go with our burn. 14 kilometers, 13 kilometers, 12 kilometers, 10, and burning. So now you can see we're slowing down relative to Deimos and our orbit is becoming matched with the orbit of Deimos. And we can ignore our closest approach here now, for not four now. Four seconds left on the burn, keeping an eye on my speed here, because if it starts suddenly going up, I wanna cancel, so we're, we're pretty well parked, but Rotation, translation. with translation thrusters, we can eliminate the last little bit of this difference and then turn our vessel around. So which way do we need to go that way and that way? Okay, and a little bit of reverse translation. Okay, so we're moving about, you know, almost a meter per second towards Deimos. So now Rotation. let's uh, let's rotate our vessel so we can get wings level with our target. And there we are, but that won't hold. Let's bring up VOR, VTOL now so we can start tracking where our base is at. So, let's see. So we're about 13 kilometers away from the base, so maybe it's on the other side of Deimos. So let's start working our way over there. And I always like to put the uh, that target directly in front of me so I can just go forward, like so. So this is our long range, although actually we could we could use the landing pad as well, so we might as well. And let's uh, start moving in that direction, but we might have to go that way and like over and down, most likely. Translation. So let's start uh, translating forwards. I can't see anything, of course. 
wonder if I can locate the base yet. Probably not. I don't really... Okay, there I am. So I just have, was zoomed out a bit more. And we're traveling that way. So most likely we're going to have to go up and around. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Warping time forward. Rotation. I'm going to put in a little bit of down rotation like that and hopefully I can kind of keep more or less match. Now I do want to watch my altitude here so let me actually Translation. because I don't I, I don't think it'd be too easy to run into demos by mistake but that's something we don't we obviously want to avoid so we'll keep an eye on our our altitude to make sure you know we're staying four or five kilometers up and but we don't want to necessarily climb and gain altitude so we'll, so we're about 10 kilometers out a little bit of time warp just keeping an eye and I can see you know my target starting to go that way a little bit so we'll start to go that way a little bit just a little bit of translation to correct that and a bit of time warp. A little bit more on the time warp. Okay, coming back. And let's just bring our velocity vector down so we're not climbing out. And I think we're pretty well lined up here still. So let's warp time forward just a little bit more. So we're about seven kilometers out. Watching our altitude. And we're starting to climb a little bit. Rotation, translation. So a bit more correction on our on our data here. Actually, I can shut that side off because it's not going to do anything for me. And a little bit more time warp. Get closer to this base that I made. And about two and a half kilometers out. Right, coming out of time warp, just a bit of correction here on our stuff. So we're about one kilometer away. Okay, so we're getting pretty close to being over top of the pad. So let's do this. Let's start taking out our some of our velocities so we can slow things down. And now I want to go, Rotation. I want to start thinking about wing, being wings level because eventually you know, I'm, gonna, I'm going to have to be wings level with the, with the, the base. Let's go ahead and rotate up now. And hopefully, but it's not looking like it, but hopefully we'll be in sun because otherwise we're not going to be able to see anything so quick look outside well okay we can't actually see our base because it's glowing and yeah you can see landing pad one is i think it's two times the size in all directions of landing pad two so landing pad two is the standard size that fits the delta glider in xr2 comfortably but if you put the vanguard on one of those it doesn't fit very well. So yeah, I just double-sized landing pad one. And yeah, unfortunately it is in the dark. I wonder which way the sunlight's going. But uh, all right, so we are coming up on 20 minutes now. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause, switch camera views here. And when we come back, we'll go ahead and finish our descent down onto the base of Deimos. So I will see you in the next video.